Thanks, Brandon. We'll check back in with you soon. Now to Governor Gavin Newsom announcing his plans to address the ongoing water crisis in our state. The governor is saying the time has come to invest tens of billions of dollars in water recycling, storage and desalination over the next two decades to shore up supply as the state gets drier and hotter. We have 37 desal projects in this state, not projects, 37 desal plants operating in the state of California. 14 traditional desalinization plants that pull seawater and 23 programs like this that pull brackish water. While this is innovative, it's innovative for being the first to pull from the delta and just the second from the bay. But this technology is much older than I. It's much older than each and every one of you. And the reality is we need to be more creative and we need to be more aggressive in terms of not just promoting this technology, but delivering on its promise. Moreover, delivering on its potential. The governor's proposal coming as drought continues to grip the western half of the U.S. The State Department of Water Resources saying California may lose 10 percent of its water supply by 2040. Newsom saying he wants to boost the annual water supply by nearly 3 million acre feet each year. One acre foot can supply water to about two households. The new proposal doesn't call for any immediate mandatory cuts to water use in cities or on farms. Now, you may have questions about the desalination process and how it works, so we took an in-depth look and found some answers for you tonight. A large part of how the process works involves the process of what's called reverse osmosis. And according to the article titled History of Water Filters, reverse osmosis takes place when you apply pressure to a highly concentrated solution, which causes the solvent to pass through a semi-permeable membrane or filter, so to speak. We say filter as so to speak to the lower concentrated solution. This leaves behind a more pure version of the solvent or water on the other side. This process makes it possible to remove salt from seawater, which is also called desalination. The process of reverse osmosis is also used for recycling, wastewater treatment, and for medical applications.